So you're making a map and you want to add a new block to the game but you want it to fit in with the vanilla textures? Well, I've got you covered. In this example, I'm going to be showing you how to add a new rock to the game, for example, basalt. Uh, you can do this with pretty much anything, I'm just using basalt as an example. So I've got this image of a basalt rock from Google Images. I'm going to grab my color picker tool and pick an area that I like. Let's go right here, click there. Then I'm going to create a new PDN file, so a new paint.net file. Make it 16 pixels wide and 16 pixels high. Let's zoom in on that, grab our fill tool and fill the area with our beautiful basalt color that we got from Google Images before. However, this looks a little bit flat, so we're going to add a little bit of noise to make it look a little bit more like basalt. In this case, I've got zero color saturation and 26 intensity with 100 coverage. If I increase the intensity, you can see the changes happen like so. And if I add more color saturation, then you can see the colors will be more and more distorted. So because this is a gray block, I want to keep this color saturation as low as possible. However, if you want this to more, be more colorful, then you can turn this up. And if you want this to be a really sharp rock, turn this all the way up. And if you want it to be kind of dull, move it down. In this case, I'm going to go with 26 like I have before. Click OK. And that's our first texture. If we wanted to make a polished variant, we can just Control A to select it all, Control C and Control N to create a new document, like so, and paste that in. Now what we're going to do is go Control R to resize this, and let's resize it to 64 by 64. As you can see, the texture is extremely blurry, but this won't last for long. We're going to go Effect, Object, Bevel Object. And as you can see, the object look, looks like it has a little bit of depth now. Depth of 2 and a strength of 0.6. If we increase the strength, then the colors become more intense. If we decrease it, it becomes not noticeable. If we increase the depth, then you can see the beveling starts to look more like a pyramid. And if we go all the way down, it's hardly noticeable. So I'm going to keep it at 2. Press OK. And if we resize it back down to 16 by 16, you can see that it has a little bit of a bevel. However, we do want to make it a little bit more polished, so we're going to go Effects, Noise, and we're just going to reduce the noise just a little bit. So, increase the strength of that, and it looks a little bit more polished now, and we have polished basalt. In order to create a stone brick variant, you can either do this by hand, or you can cheat a little bit and do what I'm going to do. Here I have the stone brick texture in front of me. I'm going to add a layer, grab this basalt texture that we got before, copy it, and paste it over here. Now this will be layer 2 now. Double click this, change this to multiply, and as you can see the stone brick texture is coming through just a little bit. However, it looks a little bit dark, so we're going to reduce the opacity just a little bit. And as you can see, it looks a little bit more like basalt, although the texture is a bit rough. So we're going to select all of that, and reduce the noise again, and as you can see, this basalt stone brick texture looks a lot smoother than it was before. You can also do the same effect with the cracked stone bricks and the circle stones as well. And as you can see, it looks pretty close to the vanilla kind of style. Now there is one more problem I can see. Look at the difference in the brightness. I think this texture is too dark. So what we're going to do is merge everything together. Adjustments, brightness and contrast. Oh, that is a big contrast. Let's just set it back to zero so you can see this take effect. So that's what it looks like now. If we increase the brightness a little bit and then press OK, you will see that it is now a lot closer to the original color that we had here, which is awesome. Looking at it now, I think the light on the side of this block is a little bit overdone. So let's fix that. So we're going to grab our magic wand tool over here and select the area we want. Now that's not what we want, we only want this side right here, so we're going to go up to where it says tolerance here and just reduce it down until we get the light here and then make the adjustments to turn down the brightness quite a little bit. Press OK and as you can see it looks like it's blending in a little bit better. Let's just bring it down just a touch more and there we go, I am a lot happier with that, it stands out a lot less. So there we go, the textures aren't exactly perfect, the lines could be a bit more obvious and clear, 
and I think the texture is just a little bit too dark for the default feel of Minecraft. So all we have to do now is just brighten it up and maybe add a little bit of contrast as well. But for now, I'll just leave this tutorial here. Thank you all very much for watching. If you ever want to add a custom block to your map, this is just one of the many, many, many ways you can go about it. But for now, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care. So